This year, CBS Sports offers television's prize sports package, 94 NFL games, plus the climactic NFL championship game and the NFL playoff ball. A very active part of this package is the man who made this great catch, New York Giants star halfback, Frank Gifford. You know, most of the time, the CBS cameras bring you a better view of the action than I get down on the field. As a runner and pass receiver, my view is often clouded by several tons of charging linemen or an unsympathetic safety. But you can see clearly that ball carriers in this league need a maximum of speed, power, deception, and uh, a casual approach to self-preservation. In the National Football League, returning kickoffs is a very risky business. The specialist Abe Woodson of the 49ers manages to stay healthy. Here he takes off on a healthy 103-yard john against the Minnesota Vikings. Tom Moore of the Green Bay Packers is one of the league's best broken field runners. You get Tom at the line of scrimmage, or believe me, you're in trouble. Moore's teammate, Jim Taylor, is fullback size with the speed of a halfback. This great all-pro is tough to catch and even tougher to bring down. Another hard man to tackle is Dick Bass of the Los Angeles Rams. Make one defensive lapse against Dick, and he's the Ram that got away. Cleveland's Jim Brown might not be the fastest runner in football, nor the strongest. He's simply known around the league as the best. Last season, Jim won his sixth rushing title in seven years with a record 1,863 yards. That's a lot of mileage in this league. And as you can see, he made it the hard way. Of course, the way you strike quickest in pro football is through the air, and every NFL club is well equipped for aerial warfare. Baltimore's great John Unitas has a fine new receiver in John Mackey. They'll be hard to stop in 1964. For the St. Louis Cardinals, Charlie Johnson to Bobby Joe Conrad spells yardage. and lots of it. When the Washington Redskins are on the attack, the shortest distance between two goal lines is one Bobby Mitchell. Pittsburgh traded Buddy Dial to Dallas during the winter. This should make Texas fans happy in the fall. To survive in the National Football League, a quarterback must be ready to improvise. Here's Detroit's Earl Morrill in an ad-libbed act with Tom Watkins. This act got good reviews. Defensive-minded Chicago wasn't a particularly high-scoring team, but with Bill Wade hitting receivers like Mike Ditka, the champion Bears got their clutch yardage when they had to. My giant teammate, Del Schopner, shows what a great end does with a football after he's caught it. In 1963, Y.A. Tittle of the Giants was named Player of the Year. When you watch Y.A. pick a defensive part, you're seeing a truly professional quarterback at work. Yes, there's plenty of offense in my league, and believe me, there's an awful lot of defense.
Exhibit A, the Chicago Bears. Behind their rushes, they had the best pass defense last year. One big reason was Roosevelt Taylor. National League linemen have their own version of the golden rule. It simply says, do unto others. And then there are those days. In our crucial game with Pittsburgh last year, the Giants were driving for a score when a funny thing happened on the way to the end zone. Well, they can't all work. Hope you see you around this fall. You'll be seeing Frank Gifford and all the great National Football League stars throughout the 1964 season. Remember, CBS Sports televises 94 regular season NFL games, climaxed by the championship game and the exciting NFL playoff ball. And on New Year's Day, you'll also be seeing one of the top collegiate attractions, the Cotton Bowl Classic from Dallas, Texas. You have a ticket to the finest football anywhere this fall on CBS television. This, then, is television's most complete and selective sports calendar, with every date circled for excitement. It's your guarantee for year-round sports thrills from CBS Television Sports. Your ticket to action.